Hello and a warm welcome. My name is Norbert Hopp and my research places are the University of Göttingen and the University College for Agricultural and Environmental Education in Vienna. My research fields are social psychology and communication psychology and economic psychology. And my special focus is on the research of values. And so I would like to invite you to follow me in the next minutes to the world of values and the value circle as a content model of values. But why are values so important? In general, they are the guidelines of our life. And in science, they are the base of our mindset and of our behavior. To understand the connects between values, motivation and behavior, Therefore, is this structure model with the references to the main theories. But before we start talking about the value circle, we should clarify a few things about the basics of values. First of all, values are neutral. That means they are descriptive. But values of your own, you'll perceive positive in your personal way of view. Second, values are not judgmental. They are descriptive, but there exist other ideas of values like upvaluing or devaluing a person, but these are ideas of social norm or moral. Third, values are always in your mind, and that means all values. There are no non-existence of values, but individual value preferences are different. Last but not least, values are relative constant. That means value changings are rare, but they are possible, especially in the intrinsic way. Especially during new cognitive processes, for example, at school or during the studying, and with personal intensive processes like illness or death in your personal surrounding. After these basics of the values, we start with the structure of the value circle. There are two axes. The first is between the universalistic values and the egocentric values. And the second is between the self-determined values and the traditional values. So there exist four segments. The first sector is the sector of pro-social persons. They prefer values like universalistic values and traditional values, like humility, helpfulness, and family cohesion. The second sector is a sector of safety-orientated persons. They prefer values like traditional values and egocentric values, like security, following the rules, and respect from others. The third sector is a sector of the hedonistic persons. They prefer values like egocentric values and self-determined values like fun, enjoy your life, and exciting life. The fourth sector is a sector of tolerant persons. They prefer values like self-determined values and universalistic values like freedom, tolerance, independence, and nature. On this slide, you can see the mean position of the core values. For more values, please have a look to the article Warum Werte. And now the question of all, what could we do with the value circle? First of all, we can position a person exactly in the value circle. And the values around this person describe the self-perception of this person in our case, tolerance and independence. And here you have also four persons. They're all descriptive by their values around them. And here you have a few more of these persons. But now back again to self-perception and values. And now we start with the hedonistic person. But what does it mean in daylight? 
really. That means that this person has the main focus on hedonistic values, like enjoying the life and exciting life. And that means a pure hedonistic focus to all situations in life. It also means that this person look to all the others with a hedonistic view and think that all the others prefer also the hedonistic way of life. And obviously that's not true, like the value positions of 1, 2 and 4 shows. Another problem is that a hedonistic person make a hedonistic communication to all the others around. And this person also think that the others follow hedonistic arguments, even if they have different value preferences. And this way of communication is the base of problems and mistake in communication. The way out of this dilemma is the value perspective changing. In our example, the changing of the communication between the hedonistic person and the tolerance person. In the first step, the hedonistic person has to think about tolerance values, ideas and arguments of tolerant persons. And so the hedonistic person is able to change the value perspective. In the second step, the hedonistic person make a tolerance communication to a tolerance person. This means that the hedonistic person take tolerance values into the own argumentation, but this does not mean that the hedonistic person change its own values. Thank you to your attention to this unit about values and the value circle. Let's sum it up. Knowing values in the value circle is the base for a cognitive and reflected understanding of the way you and others are thinking and behaving. Important keywords are value self-perception and value perception of others, value communication and value perspectivity changing.